Spirit vs. Obot back at it again with Dishonored 2. You did it. How is he? He's frail and wounded, but he'll recover. I didn't think it was possible. You must have a story to tell. I'll hear it back at the ship. Let's go then. Four six runes, one outsider shrine, half the bone charms. I had a decent with coins so. though. Only one of six paintings and four of six blueprints. that piece way but somehow different this time To this place the outsider marked me long ago i made you flee your precious tower and turned your father into cold stone how difficult for you but when i was young sweet jessamine and i were closer sisters sharing a secret emperor caldwin had another daughter born in shame to a kitchen maid am i dreaming if not how is Delilah doing this? I told you. When you're old, I'll say it You said that last year. Jessen is younger than me, and she's a court every day. Jessen is... Well, it's complicated. Well, it's there someday. go back to the servants' quarters to cockroaches and thin gruel. Emperor Daddy would visit and tell me if I was good. Next year, I'd be old enough to come to court to be a princess. Then one day, pretty Jessamine broke something worth a fortune, and the spy master caught us. She claimed I did it, and he whipped me in the garden house until I bled. My mother lost her kitchen job, and that night we were out on the street with no place to sleep. I didn't break it. Would you like to tell me what you did? You were just playing. Your name is Jessie. Who is your name? the nastiest parts of Dunwall, ending up in debtor's prison. Jessamine died quick on an assassin's blade, but my mother lingered for weeks after a fat guard broke her jaw. They threw me out when she died. I looked up at the lights of Dunwall Tower and swore revenge. Washing bedsheets in a brothel, I painted on the side, until Anton Sokolov took me as a student. That's the polite word for I was crafty even before the outsider marked me, and survived the worst the Empire could offer. Now, it's your turn. My mother's sick. She needs 
Your mother kicked off while you were out begging. She's another bag of bones now, girl. What? No! Your sentence is served and you'll be tossed out for the others. You can't stay here anymore. to know whether my dear old aunt is telling the truth or not. Tanny, what are you doing? When I saw what they'd done to Anton Sokolov, I wanted to hurt everyone who'd helped Delilah and the Duke of Sirkonos pull off their coup. Sokolov is the man who made whale oil into a weapon, who turned back the plague, and now he's barely able to speak. The hands that painted the most powerful men and women of our time shake too badly to hold a spoon. When he does talk, He's going to give me a name. The next step along the way to Duke Luca Abel, then Delilah herself. A name. That's all I need. wasn't a dream, was it? Am, Am I to blame, blame for Delilah's bitterness? All this is her doing, and she'll die for it. Our decisions have weight. I feel my time drawing to an end. Soon. Oh, there's such a thing as fig wine? Oh, I love figs. age, Sokolov's making better progress than I would have expected. Good to see you're still with us. Thank you for helping, Anton. Sokolov's not the only one making a rapid recovery. I'll be good enough to leave soon. There's a lot to do. Of course, unless the Duke falls, he'll undo my best efforts here. Then we'll have to make sure Duke Luca Abel doesn't overstay his welcome. Karnaka's key leaders are flawed for certain. After all, this is settled with the Duke, and the time of the coup has passed. Whichever ones are left standing could change things here. Consider that, as you come face to face with the Duke's remaining associates. Some of them have made their beds, Alexandria.
Ah, the Empress has risen. A peaceful sleep, I hope. Nothing like the pillows at Dunwall Tower, made of goose feathers. Sit down when you want to talk. Anton, you've had three days to rest. Tell me how to kill Delilah. They tortured him. His body is covered with bruises. Delilah has the throne, and my father is... missing. This is Anton Sokolov, the greatest mind in the Empire. No, Emily. Megan is right. I can make electricity move from one side of the room to the other, but Delilah is beyond my understanding. When I came to Sir Konos, I meant to leave everything behind. But when the assassination started, I couldn't ignore it. By the time Megan and I connected the murders to the Duke, it was too late. The Crown Killer came for me. It kept me alive from my knowledge that I saw things. Jindosh often had a visitor, Brianna Ashworth. She's the curator of the Royal Conservatory. Yes, Ashworth is dangerous, as obsessed with the occult as Delilah. Apparently, she's working on a device called the Oraculum. There's more to her than either of you know. If Ashworth is one of Delilah's lieutenants, I need to eliminate her. Who knows what this device is capable of, or what she's up to. you nailed it We'll take the skiff. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Ready to go? Yes, let's go. Chapter 5, the Royal Conservatory. While held captive, Anton Sartalov won the identity of one of Delilah's chief allies, Brianna Ashworth, an architect of the coup that turned the throne in Dunwall. Ashworth is powerful and full of secrets. She is building a mysterious device for Delilah. Brianna Ashworth must be eliminated. There will be a Grand Guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside, be prepared for anything. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. They'll be the real danger. Someday I'd like to know more about how you met Ashworth. I know you would. Trust me, 
Ashworth is important to Delilah, which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Turns out the Vice Overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Maggie. See you soon. What's the point of buying wood from a country you never visited? Lady Shersha has money, so she get what she wants. What's the matter? Run while you're still doing it. I won't let you get away so easily. Oh, damn it.
going on here? Someone's asking for trouble hey, you over there. Wait, Wait a minute, look. Howard, she I think her well. head is worth a fortune. I'll keep that. <laughs> Obviously, you are someone with refined tastes. Welcome to my shop. Say, an acquaintance of mine is supposed to be holed up in an office overlooking the Royal Conservatory. Check on them if you're headed that way. I check myself, but the streets are locked down. I'd make it worth your time. I'll think about it. See anything you like? What a pleasant surprise to see you again. I have some upgrade plans for your gear. It's a pleasure to have such a unique young lady in our store. Valuable artworks locked up in the conservatory where no one can see them. Truly a shame. I'm certain you will be satisfied with your purchase. <coughs> An excellent choice. to wrap it for you, I suppose. Farewell. And do think of us again. <laughs> Welcome back. Please, take your time. Lot picking would be a unique tool in this game, honestly. Really, motherfucker?
might as well go over there and get that information. Look at that, it's blocked. Who would have thunk? <coughs> really? Here somewhere. By the strictures, this time I'll get you. I'll stand against the faithless any day. Uh. Give me a second, I need something to drink. Jesus fucking shit, that scared the fuck out of me, dude. Ah. It would have ended in an unhappy marriage and a late 
late night plunge into an icy river. But just before mother and father married her off, so many years ago, she found Delilah instead. It was all highways and graveyards after that. Never looking back. Vice Overseer Byrne is an ambitious man, but he believes in the Abbey's mission, protecting the good people of the Empire against the likes of us. You know he'd be happier deep down if this ended with Brianna Ashwood's head on a spike. Maybe yours as well. Mm. Ooh, two rooms, heck yeah. Alright guys, well I'm going to end this episode here. I know it's a little shorter than the others, but... I uh, hope y'all have enjoyed though. And until next time, stay awesome, stay beautiful. Love you guys. Yee!